Our preparation is done, we now can start grooming. And this time we don't want to use the shelf tools because we understood in our introduction to grooming how the system works and the first thing we now want to generate are the groom guides. So let's enter here the word guide in our tab menu and here is the guide groom node which we want to add and we have to hook it up and you remember that we hook it up on the right side here because this here is the skin input and this here is for parenting purposes. So we need it in the skin here. And the moment you do that, you see here in the viewport these yellow lines here, which are planted here. These are not hairs, these are the guides. And to see them better, I think I switch here my display scheme here to dark. Yeah, now you see it better. I can get rid here of my grid in the background. And what I also can do is here in the guide groom node under display, we can draw wide curves. And I think they are a little bit too wide. So yeah, lower this a little bit. Okay, now we have our first guides here. And you see that they are planted everywhere on our skin. What we want is we want to plant them exactly on the points of our defined skin here under bristles. And here comes the interesting part. If you now go here to group and say, oh, I want to use the group, which is here coming in and you open this up, you see nothing. The reason for this is this node is <laughs> intelligent because here we have the mode scatter on surface. So it only sees the surface with its attributes, but not the point groups. So we first have to go here to the guide creation and tell the system that we want to have guides per points. The moment you do that, every point of our skin here is now a guide here. Okay, that looks good. And if you now go here to the group, you see now the point groups. And let's start here with a long group. Here we are. Let's make them a little bit longer. Okay. If you want, you can change the segments here. But yeah, this is something we want to do later. But now you see, yeah, the layout is good. Everything is fine here. Looks good for me. And yeah, the shape is okay. Maybe we can now do the next step here. So name this long. Okay. And then we need another guide groom. This time for the short hair. Hook it up. Right side. Back here to guide from point everywhere. Then we go to the groups and say we want to have them short. I changed the color here to something bluish. And then we can have white curves again. Yeah. Now you have your grooming setup running. And you see that you now get this nice pattern here. You remember we subdivided here inside of this Brussels geometry our skin so that we have more resolution here. And if you really want to be more effective and more procedural, I would normally do in production something here in the bristles. I would not select the points here by hand. I would build a geometry which you plug into the group here to select with the help of a volume geometry and say, okay, in this area and then a little bit more around that is another area. And then I can change the subdivisions all the time to get more or less roots of the bristles. But yeah, this is an introduction to the tools in Houdini and I don't want to go too deep in the procedural approach. This would something which you do in production later. So now we have our guides. Now we want to take a look how the hair would look now. So let's first take here the long ones here. And so we remember for hair we need a node and this time it's not named groom, it's named hair generate. So this was the node we used here in our introduction. We don't have an animation, so we don't use the animation skin. So deactivate this here. Then we have to hook it up. Groom data is on the right again because you have the parent input. So do that here. And the yellow things here are really our hair. I want to see them better. So we have here a density value, which is good for hair, but we have the bristles, which are really placed around these guides. And we want to change the amount really easily. So it's not about an area, it's more about a guide. So what I normally do now is I go here to total count instead of density. And then you see, yeah, it's more controllable. Let's start with 2000. 
And if you now take a look into this hair, you see it doesn't really fit our idea that everything comes from one root. The reason for this is the normal behavior of guides. I explained in my introduction that hair is generated between guides and here this hair generator asks in the moment here a maximum guide number of 10 guides in a radius of 0.05 units. And that's the reason why we get this whole field of hair. This is something we don't want in our example. So we say that we only want to have one guide which is producing a hair. So one guide. And if we do now something like that here, it's a little bit more ordered here, but you now see that around every of these guides, there's a really big radius of hair. Here you see that's really every hair belongs to exactly one guide. But here in this area, you see no difference between the guides. So what I now do is I go into the radius and I lower it. So let's try something 1.1.5. And this is now yeah, depending on the look here after. So how broad this here will be. And I think I want to have it really narrow. But uh, yeah, I don't want to have these big gaps here. Yeah, but this is a creative part now to define how wide this radius is. Okay, maybe it was a good value at the start. And then you can increase here the amount of hair. Let's try 10,000 here to see here these areas a little bit better. Yeah, maybe something like that is okay. Nice. Don't think about the direction in the moment. We will talk about that in the next lesson. In the moment, it's only the grooming part which we are thinking about. So this is the hair gen for the short hair. And then we do the same on the other side. So deactivate the hair and the guides. Another hair generator, please. This time for the long hair, hook it up. We don't use animation here. We now change this here to count again. 2000 as a start, we have hair everywhere. Then we go here to the guide count one and bring down the radius again. Yeah, I want this time to have this a little bit more as a field, something like that here, maybe is a good idea. Yeah, and I think that's okay for now. Now you could play with this here. So activate the second here again. And yeah, we have changed here the length in the guide. So if you now have the feeling that one guide has to be longer than the other one, you can go here to the guides and change the length here to have a little bit of a difference between these two hair types and you get an idea how it looks later. Yeah. So that's it for this part here. You can now start rendering. If you use mantra, everything is fine because if you select now the hair generate node and go here to render, you see that the hair is rendered or generated itself in mantra. So there are no curves in the moment here. But if you use an external render engine and you need curves for that, you can switch it here to use subgeometry and then you get subgeometry at this point. Okay. But now we leave that here with this. And in the next lesson, we want to try to get this here a little bit of direction and a nicer shape. See you in the next lesson.